Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you my opinions and my review on the HP Sleekbook 15 inch. This specific model is the B142DX, which carries an A6 4455M CPU. So since Mobile Tech Review, um, another YouTube channel already did a very extensive review on this laptop, I'm just going to give you my opinions and also kind of update the review for 2018. I'll link you to the Mobile Tech Review's review in the description below. Uh, but first I'll talk about a couple of upgrades that I recommend for this laptop in 2018. Uh, number one is the software, the OS update. This laptop, I think, comes with Windows 8. So if you get kind of like an older computer, uh, try to upgrade to Windows 10. There's cheap and, uh, and sometimes free ways to get Windows 10 if it's on Windows 8. So that's a, rec that's a recommended update. The other change that I made to this laptop is uh, replacing the hard drive with an SSD. So this is gonna help your user experience by a lot. The SSD upgrade is not the easiest thing to do. So you have to take apart the keyboard and you have to take apart take off the palm rest area and the trackpad um, but it's not that terrible and if you've done it before it takes like maybe 10 minutes to do. As for the rest of the specs uh, this laptop comes with an A6 4455M CPU that runs at 2.1 gigahertz and can turbo boost up to 2.6 gigahertz. Uh, this is a dual core CPU so um, in 2018, this will run most of the most basic tasks pr pretty well, such as uh, you know web browsing, productivity, uh, and video watching. Uh, it also comes with four gigabytes of memory, uh, DDR3 memory. Uh, some of it is taken up by the internal graphics chip. The internal graphics chip, I believe, is in a Radeon 7500G, so it's okay. It's a decent IGP for its time. The screen is a 1366 by 768 uh, display. Um, although it's a TN panel, the, it's bright and the viewing angles are decent. Uh, it is a glossy screen, so uh, it's a little bit better, a little bit brighter than matte screens that you'll see. For a TN panel, I think the the display is quite good, uh, as you can see, like in this video demo here. Uh, it can play videos pretty smoothly and it's pretty bright. The color reproduction is good for uh, a TN panel. So this will make a pretty good multimedia computer. Um, so what what do I like about this laptop? Um, first of all, it's, it has a pretty thin design. So you can see here it's, um, it's pretty slim and lightweight. So I think this whole thing weighs probably under four pounds. I kind of, I didn't measure it, but I think it's under four pounds. The overall design is pretty attractive. Uh, you got this kind of um, glossy, shiny top lid. Uh, if you kind of move closer, it, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it has kind of like this sparkly uh, finish on top, which looks really nice under a little bit of light. This does support USB 3 external devices, which I think is pretty important in 2018. So this will allow you to transfer data from external drives faster. The CPU is also fairly adequate for most of the tasks that you'll be doing in this day and age. So social media, web browsing, office productivity, watching movies and things like that. That's like, you know, 90% of what most people do. Um, and for those purposes, it'll be pretty much uh, adequate. And finally, for a budget laptop, this screen is really decent. So what don't I like about this laptop? Well, um, you know, to get it down to this price uh, and to make it this thin, HP has to make some sacrifices on the construction. Uh, so the body of this entire laptop is made out of plastic and there's a lot of flex everywhere, uh, including on the lid and on the keyboard. So the keyboard's uh, keys also don't have that much travel. Uh, so if you, if you like a lot of feedback, then this uh, this may not be as comfortable for you. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this trackpad here. Um, so you can, if I move in close, you can kind of see that there's some um, this uh, texture. I really don't like this texture. It's kind of rough on your fingers, so I'm not really a, a big fan. Uh, the key, uh, the touchpad but buttons also 
I'm not a big fan of these either because I, th I feel like they jam when you push down, especially on the left one. So it takes some force to push down the keys, which I prefer not to do so often if I'm using the, if I'm using the trackpad. The CPU, as I mentioned, is fine for most tasks. Uh, but when it comes to something a little bit more intensive, then it can struggle. So for example, if you have like a lot, a lot, a lot of tabs open on Chrome or Firefox that can, first of all, not up, not only eat up your memory, but a lot of the scripts that they're running in the background can bog down the CPU as well. So, uh, you know, you, it can still browse the web pretty well, but, you know, maybe just keep the tabs to a reasonable level. Now, comparing to some of the latest generation CPUs, this has a feature that I consider to be important, but maybe not so important for some other people, uh, which is 10-bit HDR, HEVC decode um, from the CPU itself. So, for example, the 8th generation and 7th generation Intel CPUs have this capability to decode H.265 10-bit video uh, directly from the, from the CPU hardware itself and not use, have to use uh, software decode. So for some people that might be important, uh, for the vast majority of people out there, I don't think it's really that important to have. What you're seeing playing on the screen right now is a 1080p uh, H.265 video. And you can see that the CPU is getting almost close to 100%. So even though the video will still play, it just means that you know, you're not going to be doing that much stuff in that background while the video is playing. So the current generation video codec is H.264 and this computer will handle that pretty well. Uh, it's just that for those who are playing the next generation video codec, videos encoded in the next generation video codec may want something that has, um, you know, that hardware decode capability. So overall, it's a pretty good laptop if you're on a budget. It's great for multimedia uh, and for a little bit of productivity. And just for some light web browsing, it's, it's just going to be great. And I really recommend this laptop. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.